Uh, thank you for being with us. I have with me Mr. Baman Ahmadian. He has been a political activist for democracy and freedom inside of Iran for many years. Mr. Ahmadian? That man, I don't know if you're going to be a congressman, as I said, as I said, but he takes us back. صحبت هایی از که در این مدت انجام شده خواستیم نظرات آقای تدپو کانگرسمنمون رو هم در این مورد بشنبیم خانم امی پاول که به سلام مهمون گردن بنده و آقای تدپو رو در خدمت چون هستیم شما میتونیم خانم امی پلیس بیکن Due to recent events in Iran, we have an immediate need for American officials to address the people of Iran and encourage them in their quest for peace and justice. The people inside Iran have put their lives in danger, hoping their voices will be heard around the world, and their cry for justice and peace will soon be answered. They live under one of the most repressive and violent regimes in the world right now, and they are constantly looking to us for answers and help. Congressman McCotter from Michigan just a couple of days ago gave an hour-long address to C-SPAN on this subject and other elected officials such as Senator McCain, President Obama, Texas Representatives Alan Fletcher and Debbie Riddle, as well as many others have spoken. Now we have with us Congressman Ted Poe, a Texan who is a man of integrity and a man that respects and fights for justice and freedom. Most of the Iranians give their vote for you. Congressman Poe. When you speak to the American people, what actions are they asking of you regarding Iran? Well, Americans are concerned about what's taking place in Iran. And uh, the Americans that I talk to are very supportive of the Iranian people and their quest for freedom. Uh, this week, we celebrate the most important day in American history, mm -hmm. the 4th of July, our Independence Day. But the 4th of July is not just an Independence Day and a day of freedom for Americans. It's a day of liberty and freedom for all people throughout the world who want to be uh, free and independent, to control their government rather than their government being oppressive to them. And so uh, my message to the American public is that uh, we support the Iranian people in their quest to have a government that represents them. We support especially those uh, young men and women, the, the sons of Iran and the daughters of democracy mm -hmm. who uh, are protesting uh, against their government. The right to protest is a human right. The right of free speech is a human right and it should be upheld throughout the world. And when people disagree with their government, they should be allowed to uh, make those statements uh, clear to the government because it's a human right to speak out against injustice whether it happens in the United States or whether it happens in Iran. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen so much violence in Iran over the last 30 years um, in light of the recent election. Was this a wake-up call? Did we, did we um, expect something like this to happen? Well, I don't know uh, if any of the uh, folks expected this to happen. I'm not surprised that this occurred. People can only be oppressed so long before they start having their, their voices heard. And so uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, I admire the, uh, the young people and the, the folks who uh, make their uh, voices heard to the government uh, because uh, it's a danger. Uh, because they uh, speak out against oppression, uh, they are persecuted for that. They are harmed and some have been killed, all because they are fighting for human rights. Mm -hmm. But um, liberty always has cost something. It's never free and it costs sometimes uh, uh, personal liberty was taken away from individuals. Uh, it's, sometimes it causes uh, people to be harmed and even injured because they speak up for their basic dignities. Mm -hmm. The woman Netta, who was slaughtered in the streets that we're familiar with, has come to symbolize the voice of the people that was slaughtered and silenced. Um, what about all the others who have demonstrated and given their lives uh, will their vo voice be silenced too? Are we hearing them? Are we still hearing them? Um, how should we encourage them? Well, the, uh, the young people and the people of Iran who have uh, uh, protested against their government, protested against the elections, uh, who advocate independence and free speech uh, have been persecuted and many have been killed uh, because of the current oppressive regime. That's unfortunate, but those things occur when you have a, a dictatorship basically running roughshod over the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would hope that the uh, people of Iran will continue to make their voices in very loud mm -hmm. uh, because the world does hear 
Uh, even though uh, freedom of press uh, basically doesn't exist in Iran, the word is getting out throughout the world. And I mm -hmm. think uh, the people of Iran should be admired because of their strength and their courage uh, to uh, speak against injustice. And that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. It's injustice and the folks uh, uh, in Iran are speaking against injustice. I encourage them to continue to do so. I admire them for uh, being willing to uh, face uh, uh, persecution for speaking out against their own government. Mm -hmm.